If you like this video and want to see more, be sure to click on the subscribe button, then click on the settings button, check it off, and then click on save. Thank you. And before we get started with this job, I just want to take a note of the mileage, 238,710 miles. All right, guys, as the cars break down, I'll show you what happens. This is my not too, too big of a job here. I'm going to be replacing a starter motor. So this is on a 2000 Buick LeSabre. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the DC negative cable off of the battery. Battery on these cars is under the... Holy fuck! <laughs> what? What is it? Uh, it's a wasp. Get it. Get it, baby. Uh, no. Oh, oh. He might get me. Don't send him my way. Hear him? I hear him. Don't send him my way. Okay, guys, we're back. And as you can see, I was rudely interrupted by this here flying insect. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out the back seat. That's where the battery is located. Which is stupid. Oh, well, I didn't make it. I didn't design it. But if you didn't tell me, I would never have known. And if I broke down, I'd be in trouble. Oh, so you're going to start working on the car then? No, right? I'm just saying for a jump or something. Oh. Well. I wouldn't know. I'd pop the hood and be scared there's no battery in there. Well, you can do your jumping up under the hood, you know. These connections go up under there. Oh, they do? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Yes, I'm... So we're undone. Where you got the... Yeah, we got the car undone. Okay. Let's go up under the car now. Okay, we're under the car now. We're on the driver's side. Here's our starter motor. Now on this one here, you can see there's a cover, plastic cover going across the, uh, the end of the starter. Mm -hmm. And if you look over here, this plastic cover is holding, covering, partially covering one of the bolts, mounting bolts for the starter motor. And then the other bolt is up here, up at the top. And of course our electrical connections are right up in here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to be removing this here plastic cover and there's a bolt right here and let's go ahead and remove him 10 millimeter wrench will take care of you on that so I'm going to go ahead and be taking this bolt out now I had the bolt out there you go all right now we're just going to take and uh, remove oh. the plastic cover here let's put him down all right now we got these other bolts here we can get to. To this bolt, it looks like we're going to have to kind of move this here retainer clip for these here two transmission uh, lines here. Let me pull this here pin out. And let's see if we can just pull him out. Alright. And let's see if we can just slide him right out of the way so we can get to that bolt. I believe we can get to him now. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be working on, this bolt, and that bolt up there, and so, okay, and I'm going to be taking these bolts out here, so uh, I'll catch you guys in the next shot. Now this longest bolt is the one that goes up through here, this is the one that was partially covered by the cover, the shorter bolt is the one that goes up on the other side. So I've got it maneuvered down, and I've got a uh, I got a tie wrap. You can see I've got it anchored, got it up here to uh, you know where the uh, this here plastic fastener was at. So what I'm gonna do is I just want to support it so I can work on these here uh, electrical connections right back here on the back. Okay. All right. Uh, by the way, those mounting bolts were a 15 millimeter uh, socket. We'll take care of that. Okay. Gonna remove these two terminals here. Two cables rather. And what this one here is for the solenoid is going to be for the ignition. It's going to be at 8 millimeter. Okay. This other one up here is going to be a 13 millimeter. Taking a note that they're going off in a looks like about a two two o'clock direction. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking these here uh, cables off. Catch you guys in the next shot. Let's remove the cables. Let's 
cut our tie wrap off. And that was our starter. The same thing, I put a tie wrap around the new starter to hold it in place. And now I've got the two cables up here and I secured the two nuts. Alright, let's go ahead and cut this tie wrap. And let me see if we can maneuver this thing back up in there. It's going to probably be a pain in the... Nope, oh, well. Alright, I'm going to shut up. If I keep talking, he's going to come back and bite my ass. Alright, let's see. Alright. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get these two bolts started. Okay, the long bolts over here, short bolts over on this side. Okay, just snugging it up for right now, guys. That is one long bolt. All right, we'll come back in a second here. Okay. okay, we just got out from under the car, and I'm going to tell you, it is hot as hell again. It's going to be 99 degrees Fahrenheit today and tomorrow. That's without the heat index. Uh, heat, uh, yeah, that's going to be like 107, 108 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's, uh, I'm going to take a little break here, guys, and then uh, I'm going to get the uh, torque setting there for the two, two mounting bolts on that starter motor. All right, let's take a little break. For you guys, it'll be instantaneous, though. All right, 43 Newton meters or 32 foot pounds is what this here mounting bolt should be. All right, there's one. Let's get that one. Okay, that one's done. All right, let's slide this rubber grommet back for the transmission lines. take our cover and let's put him back on and I'll put a bolt in there it was on the end now I'll we'll be tightening this bolt up and that's a 10 millimeter I'm using a ratcheting wrench for that okay. put your uh, cable back on your battery Put your seat in, seat it down. Okay. All right, let's give it a crank. Let's see what this thing will do. Nice. You notice, guys, I didn't do any diagnosis in the beginning of the video to show you about the starter motor. And uh, the reason I didn't do that was because there was a high tech equipment involved and I knew everybody wouldn't have it. But then at the, near the end of the video here, I thought, you know, why, why not? Some of you guys may have it, some may not. So here's my high-tech tool. Mm. It's a lug wrench. <laughs> Maybe everybody may not have one, so I just took it and I tapped it on the side of the starter, you know, while the wife is holding it in the crank position. And the symptoms was, uh, if you turn it over to start, it did absolutely nothing. No clicks, no nothing. So I had already done a little diagnosis and Basically, I knew the battery was good, so I went and got the lug wrench handle, tapped on the side of the uh, starter near where the brushes are at, and at that point it cranked up, so I knew it was a bad starter. So there you go. There's your high-tech tip for you. <laughs> lug wrench handle. Okay. Let's close this video out. Let me go take a shower. Again, it's hot. I need to cool off a little bit. See you guys in the next video.